That was beautiful. That bird is singing up there, deep divers. Let's breathe. Let's go. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature, raising the frequency, raising the vibration. Take that, take that good ass energy I'm sending you. So, deep divers, I'm FaceTiming you right now. Breaking news, breaking news. The controversial relationship guru, Kevin Samuels, has passed away, officially confirmed. And he was 56, very big presence on YouTube, relationships, dating, he talked about it all, modern women, modern men. And a lot of people are feeling shocked. A lot of people are feeling mixed feelings about this. And I'm gonna talk to you about his message. I'm going to talk to you about what this means. I'm going to talk to you about what we can learn from this. First and foremost, if you are watching this video, I want you to remind yourself tomorrow is not promised. All there is, is now the present. And that's why it's called the gift. The present is the gift. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? There. So, deep divers, when I actually heard about this news, I'm like, oh my gosh. Now, if you don't know who Kevin Samuels is, he was very popular on YouTube in terms of over a million subscribers. And also, a lot of people would consume his content on Instagram. He had a big following, but he really talked about relationships, okay, in the African-American community. But also, he just talked about so many different things in terms of love and relationships. I remember actually coming across his, one of his videos called Your Average at Best. And I'm like, okay, who is this guy? I started to dive deeper. I actually subscribe to his YouTube channel because as a YouTuber, I want to know, and a psychologist, I want to know, okay, who else is out there doing things? And he was on my radar to say, okay. And seeing him grow, seeing him grow and rise, but he was very controversial. Some women loved him. Some women did not like him at all. Some men loved him. Some men did not like him at all. But first and foremost, Take a moment to realize how precious life is. You can be here today, gone tomorrow. And there were a lot of people on Twitter celebrating he passed away because I feel some women didn't like his message. But remind yourself, you should never disrespect the dead. Don't be happy someone has passed away because it's going to happen to you too or someone you know. Yes. Keep it moving. If you don't like someone's message, keep it moving. He spoke about high value men. He spoke about women getting your act together, preparing yourself for marriage and all, the, all of these things. And for me, I didn't agree with everything he said, but I said, okay, here's someone who has his own opinion. And I'm always for free speech. If you see something in a certain way, kudos. Speak your truth. I don't have to agree with it or like it. And if I don't like it, I'm moving on. So in life, learn. If you don't like someone's message, move forward. Don't listen to it. And what we're also seeing is that Life is short. Once again, it's a gift. That's why it's called the present. Tomorrow is not promised. Go and kiss your mom, your dad, the cat down the road, your brother, your sister, a friend, because they might be here today. They may not be here tomorrow. 
in Arabic, there's a word called maktub, which means it was written. Not a leaf can fall from a tree without God's permission, without the universe ordaining that to happen. So when you remind yourself your days are numbered and you don't get to decide when it's time up, the universe decides that. And this is the reason why every single day you want to be living a life of humility. You want to be living a life of caring for other people. You want to be living a life of sharing with other people. You want to be living a life of being in your heart and not in your ego. I see that Kevin Samuels was a polarizing figure. Either you loved him or you didn't like his message. But it's not just about Kevin Samuels. It's about realizing every life is precious. And anytime someone is out of here, we should celebrate their life and not throw stones at them. Remind yourself, every single day, time is running out for you. Your time is limited. You don't know when your time will come. So, therefore, every day, you must be in the process of becoming your greatest version. You must be in the process of living your best life, you must be in the process. Anything you want to do, do it right now. And remind yourself, like my message, I'm always coming from a place of compassion. I feel with Kevin Samuels because he would just say things bluntly, like, okay, you're an adjustable six. He would never use seven when he would rank when he would rank women, right? You're either a six, an eight, right? And so a lot of women felt that he was very harsh in his message. At the same time, he had over a million subscribers on YouTube. People were listening. Even if they didn't like him, they were listening. But he also had a lot of support. A lot of people loved Kevin Samuels for empowering men and helping men get their act together. So what can we learn from this? We have to remind ourselves... You do not know when the angel of death will come knocking on your door. It can happen at any time. Sources say it was a cardiac arrest. And Melanie King, Melanie King, a close friend, actually reported it. We've got to remind ourselves every single day, don't take life for granted. Take care of your health as well. And also put out messages of love. If you want to reach people, you don't have to put them down to reach people. You can lift them up. So once again, condolences go out to Kevin Samuel's family. I know he's got a daughter. And shout out to you, Kevin Samuels. Thank you for leaving humanity with a message. I may not have agreed with all of it, but at the end of the day, it's a message which people can learn from. He impacted a lot of people in a positive way. Some women say, actually, he saved their marriage. Some men say he helped them. <clears throat> Some men say he helped them find a suitable mate. So we've got to remind ourselves, it's not about if you like someone or dislike someone. Remind yourself that is someone's father. He has a family. So don't just say, oh, I'm so happy he's gone. No, have some humanity. Every life is precious and death will also come knocking on your door. Death. But when you remind yourself, no one ever really dies because we are energy. Energy can never be destroyed, only transferred. His spirit lives on. And that's why I'm just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Hey. Beautiful deep divers. I'm just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I love all of you deep divers. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. Yo! Your average at best, deep divers, leave a comment down below of gratitude and appreciation. I love all of you. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>